Here we are at one of my favorite booths, a baseball card exchange. It's like a walk back in time. They pretty much have as much unopened wax, cello packs from the 60s, 70s, 80s, sometimes the 50s. It's pretty amazing to be honest they have, I know I saw it we'll, we'll try to work our way around there they have a an open box from the 1950s I believe and these are just individual packs that some of them used to cost five cents ten cents Some old hockey. I think I met a girl last night that looked like that. So I'm a, I'm a little tired. Voice is a little gone today, but we're gonna work our way through it. We gotta we gotta fight through and. Uh, now think about Miss uh, Miss Polish Dream Girl that I was uh, hanging out with last night. Wow. Anyways, back to baseball cards. Mind wandering. There you go. These are all graded, so that's pretty sweet. You know, they're graded, and they even like you know give them a score based on their condition and the pack condition and everything. You can see those it's 1973 packs, 25 cents. Man, wouldn't you be able to like to be able to go back and Buy a box of those. Look, that has a Montana rookie on top. 49 cents, and it has a Montana rookie on top that looks pretty nice, especially that one looks decent. This one's a little off center. Wow, that's pretty sweet. Dan Marino right on top. Rookie card, I believe. Wow. 1961 cello pack. Look at that. Wow. 1961 one cent pack, huh? Man. Have to go back and buy a bunch of packs for one cent. Nineteen seventy one hockey ten cents. You know what the gum's not any good, but the cards might be really good. And then even up here, they look, they have cases. Sold $39,000. That's a 1975 tops. Whoa. Whoa. Oop, let it focus. Sorry about that. 89 score, 6,000. Here they have some authentic autographs on display here. For some reason I like buying the PSA DNA autographs. So I'm just a fan, I've bought in Montana, I got three more of some other guys that I like at the show and I'm, I would buy more if I could find some more at, at, at the right price. I'm trying to get a Hank Aaron actually. Um, they have some reasonable Hank Aaron authenticated PSA DNAs for around about 45, 40 bucks. So before I get out of here, I'm gonna buy one of those. Here's the business card in case you wanna check them out. If you ever need something really rare, I mean, these are these are the guys. Is that Arnold Palmer? Yeah, that is Arnold Palmer, nice. Yeah, I recognize that signature. Is it Gail Sarah's? Gail, oh, Gene Sarah's then, excuse me. This looks like golf over here, I might have to come back, I love golf. I like watching golf, I don't really like playing golf, it takes too much time. I don't have five hours to spend on a golf course, but... 
1941 complete set. Two grand, baby. Stuff is just super, super cool. It's a 1954 blue ribbon, 3,900 bucks. How about that? It's freaking awesome, all this stuff. Really, anything you want, vintage wise, sets, boxes, packs. I mean, some of these cards are in unbelievable condition if you went and got them graded. You probably do pretty well on it. Chuck Knoll. <laughs> Jim Brown, one of the greatest of all time right there. Three really good ones. Fran Tarkenton, Johnny Unitas, and Roberto Clemente. More boxes. More beautiful graded cards. Baseball card exchange. 2013 National Sports Collectors Convention. We're in Rosemont, Illinois, just outside of uh, the wonderful city of Chicago. Nice little Hank Aaron there. I mean, there's a box of uh, for 50 bucks, 89.90 Flea or basketball. There you go. It's affordable. I could afford that. 83 tops football, only 140. That's actually not that bad. I mean, National Treasures basketball is 525 bucks. So to be honest, I'd rather open one of these boxes than that stuff. But that's just me. And to be honest, there's a lot of people who are in my boat too. They could care less about this new crap that comes out. Especially with a bunch of unproven basketball rookies. Anyways, we're off topic here. Once again, we're you know we started with the Polish girl, now we're talking about National Treasures basketball. When we have these unbelievable cards in front of me, these are amazing. Look at look at that Roger Staubach card. <laughs> it's a sugar daddy card, I guess. That's pretty awesome. But that's rare, especially in that condition. Nice Braves cards. These look pretty. Gabe Kaplan. It's on that box. The only reason why I know that, I. Is that Gabe? I believe that is Gabe. He announces poker. And while uh, it's kind of like golf, I don't like play, uh, uh, playing golf. I don't really like playing poker. I love watching poker, so I'm a little weird like that. Look at that. That's pretty cool. There you go. 400 bucks. You want to gamble? There it is. How about that one? Look at that. These Desert Shield cards are 150 a pack. It's like the only thing from the 90s that's worth anything. And it goes on and on and on. But check out Baseball Card Exchange. 
Very awesome stuff. 2013 National Convention. So the top